Good morning, everyone. Hope you've been enjoying the US Hydro Conference thus far. My name is Lyndon Brinks. I am the Geospatial Analyst at the Great Lakes Observing System, and this is Lakebed 2030, building a better bathymetric base map for the Great Lakes. For those of you who don't know, only about 4 to 15% of the Great Lakes have been mapped for high density bathymetry, and even less for bathy derived products like substrate, habitat mapping, and more. On top of that, it may be difficult to discover what data does exist because they are housed in numerous different organizations. Some of it's public, some of it isn't. Um, it could be lying around somewhere on a hard drive, gathering dust, who knows? Um, and this is where Lakebed 2030 comes into play. Specifically, the goal of Lakebed 2030 is to build a complete surface of the Great Lakes lake floor by 2030. This isn't something that the Great Lakes Observing System is doing alone. We've partnered with a number of different organizations on this, including the Northwest Michigan College, NOAA, the Great Lakes Bottom Mapping Working Group, USGS, CHS, and more. Um, and together we're building momentum and the drive towards Lake the 2030. We would love to see your logo on this slide as well. Um, of course, it isn't enough to just gather the data. We need to make it discoverable. And one of the ways that we're going to do that is to build a central location for data discovery or um, a technology platform that allows search and visualization of bathymetric data. So why is GLOSS involved? Well, for those of you who don't know, the Great Lakes Observing System typically works in OBS data, um, but we believe that bathymetry is the queen of all OBS data. And we also believe we're uniquely situated as a binational nonprofit um, with longstanding partnerships um, and relationships to help drive the momentum towards Lake Bed 2030. So what are we doing right now? Well, we're working with partners to understand the costs, develop messaging, build a coalition of dedicated partners, um, build a technology platform, um, understand what needs to be done to get it mapped, what needs to be mapped when, um, what is already mapped, and then we will be working with future partners to help build a plan to get it done. Um, and that work translates into these things. Um, in support, we at GLOSS are working to build the cake, if you will. We are gathering the data or ingredients. We're combining the data or mixing it together. We're producing the surface or the cake, and then we're working to serve it to the public, and then we can all enjoy it together. Um, and one of the newer things that we're done, we've done is we're building a data processing, building data in processing infrastructure um, within GLOSS. Um, so source data will be ingested into the GLOSS cloud infrastructure and stored in a mounted S3 bucket on a virtual machine, where then I or one of my coworkers would be able to access it. Um, and from there, we will be using QPS software to process the data um, into process point clouds um, and bags and then generating metadata. And all of that then will be sent on return to data providers or sent on to NCEI. Um, and then we will be taking the bags and pulling them into our ArcGIS infrastructure um, and amalgamating them into a multi-resolutional raster data set that we then will make available through our Seagull platform. We're just getting started. And thank you. If you're interested in hearing more or partnering on this or getting involved in any way, um, please contact us at underwater at gloss.org or at any of the emails listed below.